Every race starts with the first step. It would be easy for an elite distance runner to take a single step for granted, but not Mizzou's Megan Cunningham. She is grateful for every last pace. I never thought that I'd be able to run again. Um, I didn't know like, if I'd even be able to like, jog, much less compete at a Division I level. I keep that in the back of my mind um, every day. And even if it's like bad weather or something like that, and everyone's like, oh, I don't want to go outside and go run, it's like, okay, well, you know what? Like, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. Her journey has, at times, felt like the endless loop of a field house track. The Eureka, Missouri native had just finished her sophomore season when a car accident changed Cunningham's entire family forever and sent Megan on her own unique course. You had multiple skull fractures, right? Yeah, um, the doctor actually said the word impressive. And whenever a doctor says that something's impressive, that's not really something that you want to hear. Um, I'm pretty sure when we rolled, I must have slammed my head into the window. Um, so the whole back side was shattered and then I had like two giant cracks. Usually when you go and look at scans, you the doctor has to point it out and you're like, oh, that's the problem, like I can hardly see it. No, this was, it was pretty clear. There was a giant gap in my skull. You know, can she lead a normal life moving forward? Can she do the things that she wants to do in her life? Go to med school, be a doctor, those kind of things. Can she do that? And then you move on to, okay, can she run again? Can she walk again? Can she run again? When I got back to school, I wasn't cleared to do any kind of physical activity or anything. Um, and I couldn't even walk to the nurse's station. Running is a part of most sports. But for Megan Cunningham, running is her sport. Compared to the rest of us, distance runners glide through the miles with thoughtless ease. But suddenly, even the smallest physical task was anything but effortless. Megan missed an entire year of competitive running. I'm not gonna lie, when I came back, I'm like, okay, like I'm cleared to bike, I can go do this now. And I'm thinking, oh, I'll start with 30 minutes. I made it about 30 seconds, and I was just exhausted, and I had to stop. So her rehab began, like any competition would, with a single step. I kind of set the expectation for myself to show up to practice every day, because I knew that staying connected with the team and staying connected here would help make things easier. Even at that point, she was talking about coming back, like that this wasn't gonna stop her, and we're like, wow. And so I just slowly started just going on walks. Um, and then every day I would just progress a little bit. I'd be like, okay, well, you walked half a mile today, let's walk three quarters of a mile tomorrow. And then pretty soon, you know, you, you noticed, you looked out and you saw her on the track, and then she was jogging a little bit here and there, and, you know, it was just like one little baby step after the next. Seven months after the accident, Megan finally got to run for the first time. It was in the practice football field, and I ran about 200 meters, and I basically felt like a newborn deer. Like, <laughs> my legs were so unsteady and everything, but I was just happy to be out there. I thought, okay, maybe I can go do a fun, a fun run, like a mile run with my mom sometime. Uh, that was more where my head was at. So what was it that drove Megan Cunningham all the way back to SEC level competition? Everyone in her family survived the crash that day, but Megan's injuries were not the worst in the bunch. Her father almost died, suffering a severe spinal injury. His upper body remains limited, and he's in a wheelchair to this day. He can't walk, so Megan must run. He is probably my biggest motivation, and um, he is basically the reason that I can go out there and put a smile on my face every single day because we had the same kind of injuries and it's like a miracle that I can even walk. So to be able to go out there and do that, it's kind of, it, I'm not doing it just for myself, I'm doing it for him too. She has made her father so proud. Cunningham's senior year has featured a pair of program top 10 finishes, a meet record in the 5,000 at the Music City Challenge in Nashville, and she's a USA track and field all academic honoree. And then there was the SEC Indoor Championships, the women's 5,000 meter final. Senior Megan Cunningham of Missouri wins the title here. I was crying as soon as I crossed the finish line. I'm just so happy to be out here and do it for my dad. For her to, to get back to where she is now, and yes, yeah, she is way beyond where she was athletically. It's incredible. 
it's all a mindset that she has, that she's decided that she is going to do this and nothing's going to stop her. It all started with that first step for dad. You just think about, he had everything taken from him and he's still so happy. And like, how could you possibly be upset and be upset about these little tiny things in life and whenever you have so much, like you can do so many things and you have the whole world in front of you. She obviously saw what can happen. You know, she saw it all, ultimately found out what it, what it felt like to have it all taken away. And then for her to, to slowly gain, gain all those faculties back, it has given her a unique perspective and allowed her to really just want to pursue her dreams even more so. It's like, hey, I got a second chance. That's why she kept going. That's why the next challenge in Megan Cunningham's life will be medical school. She didn't just learn to run again, she learned how to live. Don't give up on something. You don't know what you're capable of, and even if it just seems so far off, it's just, just take things one day at a time. If you just look at the big picture, sometimes you miss the little gradual improvements. Um, so rather than looking at that goal so far off in the distance, just take it one day at a time and steadily work towards something. She was dialed in from day one of the accident when she came back that she knew that she was gonna make it back. One step leads to another and then and then before you know it, you look back at where you came from and it's just crazy. Her determination is, is really what's, what's gotten her to where she is. Just stay positive and believe in yourself and you can accomplish pretty much anything you set your mind to.